Hello to everyone and welcome to another Marine Engineering video here in Adventure Story channel and I'm very happy to be with you today it's 28th of January 2018 and new year start very good and very strong for everybody okay we have new ambitions we have new missions we have new goals and together in this channel we will discuss about everything but most important here is marine engineering and remember that i always read your comments i always will try to answer to your comments okay if sometimes it is very difficult to answer anyway i will try to answer okay and to give my best advice and we will see and what i like to say to you guys to every everybody that subscribe in this channel i like to thank you from bottom of my heart i like when we speak to each other when we give questions when we comment your likes it shows that your interest and your also interact with these videos and with this channel with this material okay and today i have a video it will not be so long but i will try to describe as much as possible to have a better knowledge of how to operate and uh, how a quick closing valve operate okay as you can see here i have choose this image here okay which is uh, a image which show us the operation of emergency shut off valve okay what is the purpose of this emergency shut off valve okay in case that in some place some location of the engine room okay take fire uh, as we know the fire it's uh, regulated by some specific uh, some specific chemical reaction okay and this chemical reaction for continuous okay to be burn let's say uh, needs air okay air which is in our atmosphere okay and then we need also fuel fuel and heat with this shut off valve we try to isolate the fuel okay we try to cut one piece of supply okay to the fire and this is why we have these valves okay we will shut off these valves and we cut the fuel or lube oils whatever diesel what is uh, burnable okay okay let's see here let's make a zoom as you can see the position on the top of this bracket when this bracket goes up it's on shut when it's down means that the piston here okay it's ready to retract retract upwards on the top so in normal operation okay let's say this is from cylinder lubricating uh, daily tank okay from here cylinder oil goes to alpha lubricator and then from alpha lubricator it's distributed to the cylinders so this is how it look like the valve okay we have two positions open and shut and what is going on okay when the normal operation and also here the indication it's in open okay there is a spring which is uh, loaded okay and also there is a piston here which is connected here it's not show but normally it's connected to air supply when we have a fire okay we proceed to quick closing valves okay a cabinet and from there we can operate some groups of quick closing valves okay which 
quick closing with valve's equipment we test this valve monthly okay there is groups of valves this valve is located also in emergency diesel generator also in main generators for the fuels the location also is on the most of the engine room tanks bunker tanks lube oil tanks diesel tanks service settings all these have this quick closing valves okay just to remember okay and they are separating groups so if you have some bread of fire it's no no need to isolate everything okay you can isolate one group and will be more easier to keep the ship also under control under working procedure and also to isolate the case and the problem at that moment okay let's continue what is going on if we activate okay the lever on the quick closing valve cabinet the air travels here through a pipe just imagine a pipe a copper pipe and push the piston inside so this level here okay which is connected by the bracket here okay and some pins will move will lift up okay the lever and then the spring which is under tension will press the valve down okay and will close it so this is the procedure but how to restore the valve okay because i have seen a lot of confuses and also sometimes if you are doing this job very fast it is a, a moment for mistake okay and we need to avoid that because what is going on if the restart is it's not proper okay if it's not proper it is possible the valve will remain open okay let's say that the valve was closed and you activate it okay so the lever was moved to shut but you need to restore it okay and what is going on let's see here okay let's see back here okay this is the valve here how it look like this is from cylinder oil daily tank okay now as you can see it's open okay and the lever it's down here check it okay open here now the oil is passing when the valve will be activated this level will go up and the spring will press down okay will be released this is a lock mechanism here so how to restore okay just imagine this lever it's up okay your valve it's close this indicator is show down the spring is pressed what you need to do okay to restore first this hand wheel turn it uh, clockwise okay clockwise until uh, you close and all this hand wheel will press down okay and you feel after it's strong then what you do the level which was in upward position here imagine it's up here in shot okay you press it down okay and hold by the hand then what you do you turn counterclockwise to the left okay the hand wheel until it's open okay and this indicator here from shut will go to open so holding your level down counterclockwise your hand wheel and it will lift up here okay all the valve to the open position okay this is how it is the normal procedure for the valve do not try to press excess pressure okay without uh, know what you are doing because what is going on sometimes if it's not properly uh, restored and let's say you have your level up and 
you still make counterclockwise okay you try to open it because your valve was closed what is going on here the middle shaft it's moving appropriate okay and the position which will be end we will not be proper okay for sure so one time more if your quick closing valve was activated okay this level here which I show here with mouse will go up so the spring will release will press down and close the valve inside okay all this spring will be retract okay and this indicator here will go to close C here are some uh, valves have indications C O for open level up spring down valve close okay and then what you need to do the hand wheel turned to right clockwise until the end then you press down this lever okay to open position and then open the valve again counterclockwise to the left until the end this is the normal procedure if you like to avoid to make some any damage okay to this valve and you like to exercise <coughs> on the ship okay on board on the ship the best practice to do that in some machinery which is not operated okay and which is not also for emergency use like emergency diesel generator okay uh, this valve also locating in incinerator area for the service and settling tanks okay there you can try you can make also test but before any excess okay pressure to the valve you need to check the inlet shaft how it's moving how it's uh, working okay and what i like to say also for these valves here that is need a good lubrication here okay on this pieces here of the spring on the shaft and also sometimes there is need of apply a little bit pedetrain here on this place okay because these uh, shafts here and components they're exposed to air and open air as you know the atmosphere is aggressive for the metals so all the pins here all the connections must be checked the safety pins must be in position and here you can see in this place we have made some connection okay some air connection which you can connect here to the piston and test only this valve okay local locally so lubricate your shafts here your springs okay your connections and also keep clear the indicator for open and close position must be as much clean as possible okay there is many pictures also guys very important for me also i will show you also in the next videos in the future is the cleanliness of the labels here because labels through the time they destroyed and as we know on the ships these labels are made of copper uh, some bronze some some metals like that okay some alloys and it's better to keep them clean my opinion and i have already applied that on most of the ship i will show you also i made some videos that we cleaned that small layer okay with a sandpaper okay and then we apply a lac okay a lac for the wood for the metals which uh, will isolate the atmosphere with the metal okay so this metal will be not oxidized okay that is it that was a short review of quick closing valve i believe this video helped a lot more interesting videos coming i have 
prepare a lot of material here and I will try to do my best. Thank you for watching Adventure Story Channel. Don't forget my new websites to check. I have some items, some nice clothes there and I will try to add more there to increase my booth. Thank you for watching again. Stay tuned to Adventure Story Channel. Bye bye.